Hey everyone, I'm Ricky, and today I'm going to be watching Scam Season 3, Episodes 8 and 9. Last two episodes on Scam, they delved into Isak coming to terms with his sexuality, even though he fully still hasn't yet, and also starting to come out to his friends. And I think Isak was worried about how they would perceive him afterwards, or, or if they would think of him differently, and they don't, which is nice. He was also kind of dealing with the feeling of rejection from Evan, and his friends helped him through the texts that he was sending Evan. He they were just like, you need to just text him and tell him, look, enough is enough. If you if you actually want this to be serious, you come and tell me. And then when he sent that, Evan was like, where are you right now? He said it was at home. He didn't send a text back, but Evan was immediately over. He knew what he wanted. And he just started making out and hooking up with uh, Isak. And it was just, it was really nice. All his friends like left. <laughs> Isak was like, you can't be here, go somewhere else. And it was really nice. So I hope that we don't do another back and forth thing. Like his last season with Nora, all they were doing just I seemed like every episode they were on each other they were off each other on each other off each other I hope the rest of the season is just them being together and just loving each other and Isak finally eventually fully accepting himself because he really still fully hasn't yet even though he has kind of come out to his friends but yeah before I get into these episodes like this video and subscribe if you haven't already both of those things help me out a lot and consider supporting me on patreon I'm gonna have these full uncut reactions on there as well as the entire season and anything I'm watch moving forward as well and follow my Twitter, I post whenever I upload, and without further ado, let's get into it. Did I even leave him again? He better not have. He better be like in the kitchen cooking him some breakfast or something. <laughs> he is cooking him breakfast. Put some cardamom in there. Yep, skvi shifte til på the Ska vi dra på skifte på yoga eller ja? Vi driver ikke med yoga. Jo, det gjør vi. Å ja, sånn yoga. Uh, ja, vi, oh, jeg glemte vi skal på yoga nå. Men uh, bare ta uh, kajenepepper i fritteren, ja. eller i sammen, i mitt kjøreskapet. Jeg våkna, så trodde jeg at du hadde dratt, ass. Hvis du bare har lagd mat, og chatter med vennene da. Vet du sånn jeg bor der? Vet du sånn jeg, vi er ikke sammen lenger. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I hope he's not lying. Noen ganger så føler jeg at hun kjenner meg bedre enn det jeg selv, fordi alt hun sier er sant. Det er det jeg er så dritt lei av. Så er det du som kan føle det du føler. Jeg har ikke følt uh, sånn som det er noensinne. It's so cute together. Oh my god. Uh, it's like stupid how cute they are together. Hvor har fått mann ut liv og så viser det seg at han ligger Gabrielle. Er jeg mann ut liv? Hva er det meg du snakket om? Man of your dreams, huh? Aha, aha. I think he just slipped a little bit. Se det. Se det. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cute, my god. Ah! Oh my. Damn. He's just really just... <laughs> wow. I wonder how his dad's gonna react to that. Good for him for being able to, like having the courage to do that for with his dad. That's very tough with parents. Ah, oh. oh, that's nice. Oh no. <laughs> Ooh, okay. Shh, shh. Stop. Keeping my emotions in check. Bare no forskning som har blitt gjort på uh, evolusjonen og uh, homofili. Det er jo sjelden jeg tar feil da, men uh, <laughs> Det viser seg at jeg tok visst feil, fordi homofili har, spilt en, har hatt en naturlig funksjon i evolusjonen. Og de har masse ny og interessant forskning på det. Så jeg tok feil. Hva med om islam da? Islam sier det samme som alltid. At alle mennesker i denne verden er like mye verdt. Og at ingen mennesker skal baksnakkes, krenkes, dømmes eller latterliggjøres. Så hvis du hører noen bruke religion for å argumentere for hatet sitt... Ah, queen! Så ikke hør på det. Queen Santa! Queen Santa! Vi har Santa. kommet fra religion. 
Det kommer från frykt. I love Santa so much. Every single scene with her, she proves that she is my favorite character in the entire show and she continues to just always be top tier. Oh, I love her so much. I'm so glad season four is about her. Gitta, detta är även detta är Oh, Gitta. Men han är också lite lättast. Oh, det är även. Aj, sorry man. Hej. Många. Vänta, vi går på oss. Okej, okay, jag är färdig. Vi kommer gå. Vi ska köpa pizza. Kostar det? 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 Kostar Wait, what was she about to say? She wanted to control you. How can she control me? Because she likes not people who live free and direct. Oh lord. I mean, I wouldn't want to talk to Sonia either if I were in Isak's position because she doesn't have any effect on how I feel about a certain person, right? So, do I think that Isak is going to wonder what Sonia was going to say? Yes. Do I think he's going to talk to her? Yes. Do I think she's going to try to fuck up something that they have? Yes. And uh, I hope that she doesn't do that. Oh my gosh. I'm worried about his mom's reaction to that. But then again, there's the thing too about like, you can stereotype against gay people, but you can also stereotype against very religious people and think that they might be how, I mean, unfortunately a lot of religious people are where they use religion as a smoke screen for their hatred and bigotry. But I don't know, maybe she'll be very accepting of him. I know he's gonna call Sonia. I, I I am curious to hear what she has to say, but like maybe she does have something that Isaac maybe needs to know about him. But if Isaac needed to know something about Evan, Evan should be the one to tell Isaac, not Sonia. I am keen to check in for a fucking sweeper. I like that his dad was just like immediately accepting of that. He was just like, good. I'm waiting for the text back from his mom and then also to see what the hell Sonia is trying to say. I hope it doesn't affect how Isak feels about Evan though. This is my cast. Yeah, very good. Yep. Yeah. My beautiful. Just everything about them, everything. I can't say it enough how much I am just in love with these two and their dynamic together. I just don't want, like, I can I can just see the future on Sonia saying something to Isaac that he's gonna have, like, some type of ill feelings towards um, Evan or he's gonna be feeling some sort of way about him after whatever she says, but I hope it's not like that. Small phone booger, huh? Indeed. Mm. And that's a nice ass fucking hotel, damn. Room service and everything, champagne. Food, we don't have shit like that over here. Unless you're going to like a really expensive fucking place, but like does Evan have that kind of money? It's cause we have lift us. Stoot fucking his brud up. Oh we shall come some good or you recessor. Here spit knock more. Here spit knock me. Ik no clear. For now we bare thing now. Oh that was it? Yeah, the fun there. There for this yeah drum me. There one drum me. What is going on in Isak's head right now? Isak or Evan, I think it's like this. You know, but the way you have to have time is that I have to miss it. I don't know. It's just natural. I didn't like that line. There's something up with Isaac right now and I can't tell what it is. Is he leaving him again? There's no way. What is about to happen right now? I, I feel like this is ominous. It keeps fading to black. Although it's done that the past two seasons too, but usually that's when something bad happens. Leave him on my up. Jag ska vara ute och köpa nåt mackarmatas först. Wow. 
What? Did he just walk out there naked? Is he dreaming? What's happening right now? And he said he was gonna go get a McDonald's. Wake up. Is he sleepwalking maybe? Maybe that's what Sonia was trying to tell him is that he sleepwalks or something? I don't know. Oh my god. God, I knew that fading to black was a bad thing. And it just got silent too. There's like no sound. Oh my god. Here we go. Det er bare en syk idé han har akkurat nå. I fjor så pugget han Koranen på arabisk uten at. For da synes han det var en god idé. Han skal heller ikke røyke. For det tåler han ikke. Så kan du please bare holde deg unna. Don't start doing this. No, stop, don't cry, Isaac. <laughs> Oh no, oh my god, are you kidding me? Okay, first of all, let's just talk about that real quick. Just because he decided to learn the Quran in Arabic doesn't mean he's a bad person or anything's wrong with him. Maybe he is in love with Isaac. Just because she says that he's not doesn't mean Isaac needs to believe her. <sighs> god, I don't even know where this fucking next episode is gonna go. God damn it, all right, let's just jump into it. Okay, I was right about the depression thing, if he is manic. I wonder if that's Evan that continuously is texting him. He's purposely not looking at his phone. Is that a song? Is that something that he made up? Is that a poem? What is that? Oh my god, he's sick. Oh, oh, oh no, God. Oh. God. Uh, this is not where I thought this season was going. God damn. Like a gold in a people. He needs to stop talking about normal and not normal. Have you ever been in a depa or gear like that? Yeah, I'm also bipolar. You know what my mom did? Was so pissed up in his bed. So he found out where Mary Jones lived for a while. And so set up a sign in his name. Are gear or on depa? Yeah, I can't come on. Why? 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 Du har vært med han lenge, han har ikke vært manisk hele tiden. Hvert fall når mor min er manisk, så er det liksom sånn der, jeg får ikke kontakt med deg. Du har fått masse kontakt med Eben. Men Sonja sa at han har vært manisk hele tiden. Det var Sonja. That's because Sonja doesn't want you together with him. That's what I said last episode. Så du tror, du stoler på at eksen han sier at han ikke har følelse for det? Det er smart, Isak. Det er det beste jeg har hørt i dag. Ja. Wow. Man må spørre Eben hva han føler da. Han har ikke gjerne død. Fordi han hadde en manisk episode, liksom. Thank God someone can talk sense into him. That's right. Hei. Hei, Isak. Jeg ville bare forsikre meg om at du kommer på fredag. Ja, jeg kommer. Så hyggelig at du har fått deg kjæreste, da. Ja, det var bare... det var bare kjøtt. Isak, don't. Stop. Stop, stop, stop. Men du, da ses vi i alle fall på fredag, da, Isak, så jeg gleder meg til å se deg. Og mamma også. Det var ikke kjøtt. Ok. Det bare er slutt. No, it's not! No, it isn't. Var det... er du lei deg for det, eller er det...? Nei. Ok. Isak, stop. Come on. Ha det, ha det. Or are we not going to see his parents either? Hmm. 
Go inside, is he inside? Where is he? Okay. Oh God, I was thinking for a second that he had like done something to himself. Jesus Christ. <sighs> I can't stop crying. Oh my God. This season is making me cry way too much. <laughs> I'm so happy people recommended this show to me. Uh, if it wasn't for Heartstopper, I would have never been recommended Scam Season 3, I don't think, because no one had ever recommended this show to me, I don't think, before that. There's only one episode left, the finale. Lord help me. I'm like speechless at how amazing this show is. I, I can't even think, I can't even think right now. I don't even know the word for it. I'm so entranced by this show and, and these episodes and I feel like there's there's not one single second that I, I want to miss. And I was right, by the way, in the last episode about how every time that there's a scene where it starts randomly cutting to black, that means that something bad is about to happen. First season, it was when Vilda, I think she said she, th she thought she was pregnant or something. Last season, it was Nora when she got extremely drunk. She didn't remember what happened. Then she thought that William's brother had done something to her while she was too drunk to know what was going on. Now this season, it was with that uh, manic episode that Evan had. And thank God that Isak has the friends that he does because if his friend, I can't remember his name, did not talk him down and explain to him that just because he has a manic episode or that he's bipolar doesn't mean that he's not normal. You don't write them off completely just because of one manic episode. And I knew that Sonia, with her little bitch ass, was going to put all these lies in Isak's head and make him think that Evan wasn't in his right mind 100% of the time because she said all last year he memorized the Quran in Arabic because he thought it was a good idea. Manic episodes don't last that fucking long. She was saying that he he doesn't actually love you, he's not in love with you. I knew she was gonna say some shit that was only gonna fuck with Isak's head and I was right. And I'm glad that his friend was there to finally just explain to him, look, here's the deal, this is what it is. And I'm glad he met up with his mom and dad. And I, I, I noticed too, there was a parallel with his mom and dad and how he was about to do the same thing to Evan that his dad did to his mom. People had mentioned about how his mom's crazy, quote unquote. Isak had that in his brain of, oh, that's what a crazy person is. Not that she, you know, maybe she just has these moments where she's not maybe completely in her right mind, but his dad left her because of that and he didn't want to be around her and he was about to do the exact same thing to Evan and I'm glad he came back around. I think maybe possibly his dad kind of getting that together had something to do with it too. I think he in some way follows in his dad's footsteps because he left his household with his mom when his dad left. Then he started leaving and shutting out Evan when Evan had that one episode. And now that his dad and mom kind of got back together and however they're going about it, you know, that's their own thing. But then on top of that, then Isak 
came back to Evan, and I'm so glad that he did. I, ne I need to know people's thoughts about these episodes. I need to like collect my thoughts because I cried so damn much in this show. <laughs> it's insane how good this season is. I. I can't even wrap my head around it. Just just let me know what you thought about these two episodes in the comments. And um, like this video and subscribe to me if you haven't already. Consider um, supporting me on Patreon. All my full uncut reactions will be on there. And follow my Twitter. I post whenever I upload. And next episode is the finale. I'll, I'll, <laughs> I'll see you on the finale. Uh, thank you for watching. Bye.